were voted to be granted fees. Uh, so the Gender Advocacy Center uh, would like to collect a fee levy of 50 cents per semester from all the graduate students in support of the 2110 Center, as well as Frigo Ver uh, want to collect a fee of $1.50 per semester from all graduate students in support of the Frigo Ver. Um, so I don't know if anyone wants me to motivate. But I can just let it go like that. I don't think anyone's paying attention. <laughs> Is there a seconder? All in favor? Oh, sorry, sorry. Discussion? Any discussion? All in favor? I suspected there wasn't. Good. Against? Motion okay. uh, Item 21. Madame Robia. That's my third Mr. President, if someone is going to flagrantly not comply with the regulation, with the resolution that we've adopted. I think that that person should leave the room. I, I, I share Madame Lebedev's position that we're going to make the exact same. Uh, so there's point. a process. Uh, there's a process that uh, exists to sanction members of the board. Uh, I don't have it clearly in my in my head what that process is. Uh, we have two items between us and freedom for this year. And I would if I would seek the indulgence of the summer to deal with that question. Uh, if, if but if we were don't do anything, that, excuse me, Mr. President, if we don't do anything, we are simply going to comply with the allegation that was made earlier that we don't respect our own rules and regulations. So we your proposal is what? My proposal is that unless Mr. West stops filming, that he please leave the room. Now, okay, uh, well, I don't want to go I against like. whatever uh, the rules and regulations are and sanctions. And if we're not going to, uh, if we're not going to ask Mr. West to leave the room, then I would like us for the next board meeting to uh, fire a two determine what the proper procedure is to sanction the member of the board. Point of order. I, 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 I simply think that it is very important that rules and regulations be respected because that's what a democracy is all about. I think we have two members that can be wrong. Sorry. So this is, point, this is actually, this is a point of order. This you is have to be recognized before you speak and I will recognize you now. Thank you. Um, oh, hi. Um, I, first of all, I, I don't know that a deliberative body, especially a, a not-for-profit, can actually kick out one of its voting well, members. You, have to, you can read the rules. So well, I, I, I'm can. not... Can. Okay. okay. Um, then if we're not following that procedure, then we're just having an angry conversation right now. So either we can follow the procedure to do that, or I'd like to move on with the agenda, because there are lots of people with places to go. I'm happy to have a telephone board meeting for the last two items just to not deal with this. Peter. Yeah. And I voted to table that motion and I voted against it. But now it's been adopted. It seems to me that one should not, one has to have some loyalty to the organization mm -hmm. that you belong to. You're part of the board. I would ask the two individuals to turn off the camera. Um, the ethics, governance and ethics committee We'll have to deal with further measures on transparency, and perhaps we'll have to deal with how it's going to handle individuals who don't follow. I don't know what the answer is, but just for this meeting, like I said, I I don't I think that it was a bad idea to adopt that motion, but it was done. Mm -hmm. I think you know it's best to obey it, at least for the this meeting so that we can finish and then some thought will be on how to handle. Okay. I don't. Let's move. It was let's, in bad faith. Let's move the whole, that our motion was in bad faith to our community to people. I am not stopping. I'm sorry, but like. How long is your presentation, Madame Uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Did you do it in five? <laughs> okay. I am going to send you all the freedom. I will do my best. Okay, great. Thank you. Please uh, 
the annual recommendations that we made. So these would be uh, in addition to recommendations we might have made in individual cases during the year. Uh, they focus on uh, three themes, academic re uh, regulations, students with disabilities, and uh, employees. Um, for academic regulations, especially with uh, respect to uh, undergraduate students, there's much uh, information that we received about how they find it difficult at the moment to locate and understand some of the academic regulations that, uh, that apply to them and how, uh, where to find them and how they apply. Um, so what we uh, students find things difficult to find on the web. The undergraduate calendar is found on the web. It's hard to search. Uh, so what we recommended is that the Office of the Registrar uh, conduct a review of the academic regulations for undergraduate students, um, identify what it is exactly that needs to be communicated to the, to the university members, uh, uh, draft it in understandable language, and put it on the web so that it's easy to access and understand. Um, with regards to students with disabilities, I'm just going to highlight that one of uh, the things that we're finding uh, more and more is that we're seeing students who come to our office who are students with disabilities, but with disabilities that the common vernacular now is referring to as emergent clientels, which means these are students who don't necessarily have a a visible, visible disability like hearing, auditor, uh, auditory, visual, or mobility, but rather they have uh, issues related to um, things that are more invisible. So we're talking about mental health problems, problems of ADHD or <coughs> autism, whoops, autism spectrum disorder. Uh, Asperger's might be something that you were familiar with. Um, so these students have come through their education, through uh, primary, secondary, college level studies, and they, thank you. Thanks. Good? Okay. Um, and they've come through their schooling and they've been accommodated along the way. And they arrive uh, at university, and this is not a, a problem that is only at Concordia, but throughout the Hizu, um, where students are necessarily, these students are necessarily receiving the kinds of accommodation that they need in order to succeed academically. So the recommendation that we made is that the University of Concordia continue in its efforts because I know it's making efforts now, and I'm in, I'm in contact with uh, uh, people in advocacy and support services, where they're working with uh, MEL, the Kripuk, and other universities to try to see how, uh, it's how best to answer to the needs of these students so that they can, they can succeed better in their studies. Um, uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to skip the one on employees because I think the report is quite clear about what, what it's recommending. <coughs> um, for, so these were the, the priorities that we had for last year, 11-12. Uh, um, always updating uh, the information about our office to the community uh, in terms of publications, uh, and promoting the terms of reference to outreach activities that we try to do um, as often as we can. We're a small office, there are, there's myself, the assistant office person, and the housing support uh, person. Um, so we try to get out there as much as we can with a message about what we do. And finally, the last um, priority was to participate in the uh, appraisal of the Ombuds office and of myself. Uh, so I understand that the, uh, 
the appraisal committee's recommendations about the office are going to be presented uh, shortly. Right after you're done. All right. So I hope I am delivering you closer and closer to the <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for me? It might be helpful in the future to give some sort of a comparative uh, to how do we situate ourselves relative to what others are doing in, 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 in this area. I don't have a sense, and it would not be for me to ask that question, because, uh, but uh, uh, I just leave it as a thought when you're, okay. when you're describing sure. uh, the work that you do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not an area that necessarily we have a lot of expertise in, and so as a, as a benchmarking exercise, it might be helpful to just know where how we situate. Well, that, that's certainly something we can do, and as you saw in the report, uh, we're very active in different networks of ombuds Great. persons, so that is something that we can, uh, I can certainly bring to you next time. Well, we're really happy that finally we've allowed you to make your report. <laughs> I know a number of times we pushed you off, Three times. and for which we're very uh, apologetic. Uh, well, thank you. I'm glad to be able to. to, to, to you thank you very much for coming. All right. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Right, uh, we'll, we'll begin with the motion now. I think everyone's got it in the documents in front of them, right? Yeah, but the maybe I could just, well, Do you want to give a two minute I'll give overview? It, yeah, I'll give it's it. Pretty I'll simple. give a 30 second, 30 second overview. The next item, so that was the Ombudsperson's annual <coughs> report. The last item on the agenda uh, has to do, and, and, uh, and as Roviard referred to it, has to do with the uh, report and recommendations of the appraisal committee. So under the terms and reference of the Ombuds Office, there's an appraisal that happens every five years of both the Ombuds person, we dealt with that one at this board a few months ago, as well as the office. So the document you have uh, in there is the uh, fruit of, the, uh, of the, the work of the appraisal committee. And there are, on page three of the document, there are a series of, there are 11 recommendations, uh, some ranging really quite minor and, and uh, uh, kitchen stuff. I don't know how you say it in English, but... Um, housekeeping. Housekeeping, thank you. Um, and um, so I guess that's, if there are any questions, I can answer them, but there's do a we, resolution. Do we need a motion? We need a motion to adopt the... And, uh, Dr. Lowy is proposing? Yeah. Uh, as well, I... I <laughs> I no. propose, yes, that on the recommendation of the Ombuds Appraisal Committee, right. that the recommendations in connection to the Ombuds Office detailed in document BG 2012-8-D37 be approved. Is there a seconder for the motion? Thank you, Mr. Davidson. Any discussion? All in favor? Motion carried. That is amazing because we just completed every item of our... 11 oh, no, days. sorry. Oh, not quite. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> inches from a clean getaway. Uh, it won't take much time unless we know people have things to do, so hopefully this could be considered. Um, so this is a motion brought by the Graduate Student Association. Uh, it comes to our attention that there's a number of students that approached us, uh, and they're concerned because they're getting charged under the Code of Rights and Responsibilities from the university. Uh, for actions related to uh, strike-related activities. Um, basically, I don't want to explain the whole context because it's quite a long story, but just to summarize certain key points, you all know that, uh, first of all, that there is uh, disagreement amongst uh, many different individuals as to how to fund higher education. Students have one perspective, the administration have another perspective, they're quite divergent views. Um, at the student level, we've actually met with student associations at department levels. Um, and the Graduate Student Association, as well as the undergraduates, did vote on strike mandates. The graduates actually continue to have a strike mandate. Under the strike mandates, it was voted also uh, as to what kind of actions take place, so what kind of picketing or whatever the situation is. And these were voted on by bodies, not necessarily just by individuals, but actually as a collective unit. Uh, now certain individuals are getting tried under this uh, Code of Rights and Responsibilities. And we do see this as a little bit problematic because they are upholding the will of the general collective that they're part of. Kind of like here, we're at the board level and we're actually expecting the same of our membership to uphold the, the will of the board as well. And we do that under this collective membership. Um, so we did bring some forth some, uh, some, just some resolutions that hopefully rectify the situation. Um, I'd like them considered in isolation, not taken together uh, as an omnibus motion because certain ones Maybe you agree with and maybe you don't, and I don't want this to be rejected because you don't agree with one or not the other. Basically, I'll just get to the resolutions. If you want to read, read the whereas clauses, you probably have had a chance over the past four hours. But the first one I'd like to propose... Not necessarily, though. I hope they've been concentrating on everything that's been going on. 
I'm sure that's the case too. So, so the first one is be resolved that the Concordia uh, Board of Governors recommend to the Concordia administration to actively engage with students who are currently on strike at Concordia University in order to avoid future problems resulting from diversity and lack of communication in the spirit of respect and dialogue rather than punishment. The idea of this is basically we need to open dialogue. It hasn't happened to the extent that it really should. I don't know if anyone has any questions, but I won't motivate more than that. And then the others we can deal with those. So you're, you're trying to manage what we're going to deal with here, right? And yes, you've so got, I'm proposing that as the first motion. Right. And, 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 and uh, you've got. The number first, first. Yeah, the I think Mr. Chevrolet is suggesting that they be split into yes, four motions. Right. Formally. Yeah. So, does does is it the will of the board to deal with this now? I don't have would, to motivate to win, so yeah, sorry. Would, would the, would the, yes. I'm sorry, just a clarification. This appeared today. We it's never saw anything. You have to speak loud. It's not found in the executive. This, no one's seen this before. This is the procedure. This is the procedure. This is out of, correct. The, we don't, board. typically the board <coughs> vets and, and, and right. typically everything that goes to the board gets reviewed at the executive committee to make sure that documentation and everyone's prepared and we know what it's about. This is not on that route. So I would like to recommend that it goes to the executive and there can be an informed discussion about it and then it comes back to the board. In fact, there, there was a discussion at the executive committee about this issue, but not the specific motions, just to clarify exactly. that. So, so uh, is, that, is that the will of, the, of this board, that this go to the executive? not receive notification that they were charged until after June 1st. I have to receive notification
And easy. Thanks to the team. Uh, uh, seven, uh, a book uh, uh, showing uh, and uh, the, the time. Because Bye.